just finished our Zoom session with the teachers and the teaching assistants and they all send their love to all the Puffins. They say, hi, Puffins. Um, and that reminds me, on Monday when we do our Zoom session, it's going to be um, some listening activities. So all you're going to need is some paper and a pencil or a pen. Okay, that's all you need. But let's get on with some maths. So we explored number 19 yesterday, didn't we? The number that has 10 and 9, 1, 10 and 9 ones. And we'll just have a little look at that. And then I'll tell you some exciting news that I've spotted about number blocks. Right, first of all though, can you get your number cards and put them in order all the way up to 19? I might do the row of 10 and then the row of 9 underneath from 11 to 19. Right, off you go. Pause, come back when you've done that. Got my numbers ready, if you're ready. Also, just so you know, we're going to play a dice game again. So you might want to go and get a dice and a little character. So we're going to go backwards this time. But let's go through to number 19, if you're ready. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Look, because it's um, laid out like this, you can see it still doesn't make a rectangle. You know what's good about knowing that, actually, is that when you're having to work out things when you, like, have to work out lots of a number, you know that the answer will never be 19. So when you're in year one, remember that thing. Unless I'm adding or taking away, the answer is probably not going to be 19. Right, are you ready for the dice game? So we're going to start our character at the highest number we've got so far. So we're going to start on the number 19 today. And when we roll the dice, it's going to tell us how many to take away each time, how many jumps backwards we've got to go. All right. Or you might have heard of words of minus or subtract. So let's find out. So we've got 19. And we're going to take away the number. Shout it out. All right, let's see which number it's going to land on. One, two, three, four, five. So 19, take away five, it's 14. 19 minus five, it's 14. All right, let's have another go. Let's run 14. Let's roll the dice. What do we get this time? Shout it out. Three. So we're on 14. I'm going to go back three. Can you predict which number it's going to land on? Let's see if you're right. I'm going to go back three. So 14 minus three. One, two, three. Number 11. Did you get that number? So let's roll it again. Another three. All right. One, two, three, eleven minus three equals eight. Okay, here we go. So we've got five and we're on the number eight. Can you work out which number this strange little thing that my niece made me is going to land on? So eight, take away five, go. Which number did you say? Let's see if you're right. One, two, three, four, five, eight. Take away five is three. Now, let's see what happens next. Six. Oh, I can't really go back to six because it's going to go into numbers that are called minus. So, no, it's too big. I have to roll again. Oops. Roll again. Another six. Three. Okay. I'm on three and I'm going to take away three. So if you have three fingers and you had to take three of them away, how many would be left? One, two, three. There's nothing left. If there was a number there, I'll go and get it. Because it's right next to me. It would be the number zero. Right, you could have a go at playing that game a few times with your family. Maybe you could go taking away, and then when you get back to the end, beginning of the numbers, then do adding. Or you could make 
something that had add and take away on it and maybe like spin it or roll it so you had to roll the dice and then the other thing told you to add or take away up to you right you ready for some good number block news i'll show you in a minute right remember at school we went through all of this dvd and all of this dvd we went through from numbers one to ten and we did lots of like other little mini videos from the series where we learned about lots of different things and the other dvds i didn't have did i and then just before we um had to stop going to school they arrived and we went straight on just to look at some of the bigger numbers but we never opened series of the volume three one and we haven't really done much of the volume four just what i could get online well have a look at this might be a bit tricky to see but up on the eye player now on on the number blocks bit they've put all the number blocks on so where we watched those other episodes the other week like series four and you try to watch look 17 18 they're all back on again so that means we can carry on learning some of the big things because the episodes are going to be on there for five months it says but also some of the things that we haven't explored in the other series oops series three we can go through some of those as well also means you can watch extra episodes of number blocks whenever you want doesn't it that's really good so what we're going to do is we'll a bit like phonics you know we we learn a new phoneme for two days and then we revise an old one we'll keep doing some new stuff in terms of the higher numbers in number blocks and we'll also go back to the other series where it teaches us some different things that we haven't dis haven't explored yet um, but it might just be with the lower numbers in the episode so today the number block that i want you to watch if you follow the link is called blockzilla it only has the numbers one to five in it but it does teach us something that actually you don't even have to know in reception it teaches you something that you have to know in year one and it's a different sign but the words they use we do have to know okay so watch that episode might only have numbers one to five and we can explore it in different ways but look for the new sign and listen out for the words okay so follow the link so did you spot the new sign that was in that episode i'm going to make it out of foil so i'm just going to get some foil and i'm going to roll the foil up i'll just do that right, so i've rolled up some foil and then i'm gonna bend it like that so we've got the sign that was in the blogzilla's mouth i thought he was going to eat them didn't you okay he was a friendly uh, monster so we've got a sign that talks about numbers if they're greater than another number or if they're less than another number and the the monster taught us that the number or the objects that were this side where the mouth was open it would talk about the number would be greater than this side and this side would tell them if it was a number that was less than the other side and you could have it both ways so we'll have a go at making piles of different numbers and we'll see if we can use the sign to help us decide which pile has the greater number and which pile has the number that is less okay in fact i've got my number block friends to help me with this one so what i'm going to do i'm going to choose two different number blocks i'm going to start with the number this one here what's this one number seven I'll put number seven here and I'm going to choose a number nine. Okay, so we've got seven and nine. I'll just get my number cards. All right, you see that? I've put number seven next to seven and nine next to nine. Now, which one is the greater value? Which one has more and which one has less? What do you think? Now I could count them, couldn't I? I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's got seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I go higher, don't I? In fact, if I put these next to them, I can see that nine is one, two 
more than the number 7. So 7 and 9. 9 is greater than this number. So if I get my sign, I'm going to put it this way because remember the monster likes to eat the biggest one. Well, not eat him. He wanted to play with them, didn't he? So the biggest one has to go this side and the smaller one goes that side. So this I can say 7 is less than the number 9. So I can say that. So which two numbers have I got? I've got the number 11 and I've got the number 8. Octoblock, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, which way round do I have to put this sign? Do I put it that way round or that way round? Have a think. I have to put it this way round because this way, look, it says that 11 is greater than 8. 8 is less than the number 11. Right, this time, can you just shout to me and tell me what this shows? What does this show? Did you say 19 is greater than 16? And it also shows that 16 is less than 19. So really, the word greater is means that there's more, isn't there? The, there's a bigger number. The pile would have many more counters than this side. And we could explore that by using counters and counting them. So let me get some counters. All right, so here we go. I've got two different piles. Count how many is in this one. Count how many is in that one. Hopefully you should just be able to see it and say it, to be honest. And decide which one has the greater number in and which one has the less. Which pile has more, which one has less. So you should have come up with four. And in the other pile, you should have come up with six. Now which one is the greater pile? Sorry, that was Charlie's mum again. She's always ringing you, isn't she, Charlie? Right, which one is the greater pile? Which one is less? Which way round do we put this sign? Got to put it this way round. Because we can say that four, because there's less of them, look, it's a smaller number. Four is less than the number six. Or this way round, if we read it this way, we'll say six is greater and the number four. So your challenge today then is, can you work out which numbers are greater than a different number? And if you wanted to, you can also find out which numbers are less than a number. Think you can do that? Good luck.